Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Spencer Petla and I'm back with another YouTube video. So yeah, guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. So I think I'm going to make this now kind of a series, I think, on my channel where I'm going to be reacting to certain YouTube, uh, not YouTube trends, why did I say YouTube trends? Certain Twitter trends, like things that are trending on Twitter or specific people that are trending on Twitter. Just looking at certain like comments, certain tweets that they've posted, yeah, things like that. I think focusing on like sometimes I might focus on a specific specific tweet from a specific Twitter account, like I did in my last video about the whole Zella Twitter account. Uh, I was busy reacting to some of the tweets from that account. So, but today I'm gonna be reacting to tweets from the hashtag One Million Graves. I don't know if you guys saw that. There was a whole thing trending. I think last week that was saying. Hashtag one million graves that were being dug in Gauteng. So I'm going to be reacting to some of the tweets that came out of that hashtag. So yeah, for those who don't know, there was a whole thing of uh, one million graves were being dug in Gauteng. And uh, I think some somebody, I think one of the, the, the MEC of health in Gauteng was the one who was saying that they're digging 1.5 million graves. But from some of the articles that I've read, they are saying that actually they are not actually digging 1.5 million graves. So let's just get that clarified before I start. According to some of the articles that I've read, it says that they are not actually digging 1.5 million graves. They're saying they have the capacity to build to dig 1.5 million graves in Gauteng. So yeah, I think let's just keep that in mind <laughs> as I go through some of these tweets that yeah, Gauteng has the cap capability to dig 1.5 million graves. They are not actually digging them from the articles that I have read unless it has changed from the time I'm currently recording this video. So yeah, guys, I think let's get right into it and let's look at some of the tweets that I've seen, that I've picked out here. And then I'm not going to read the names of the people who, who tweeted these things because I want to botch their names. I'm not that good at reading people's names. So I'm just going to stick to just reading their tweets. Okay, so the first tweet says, whoever got that tender for digging one million graves Graves must come here and explain who is going to be buried in those graves. <laughs> so this guy is saying that whoever got the tender to dig these graves must come and explain to him who's going to be in those graves. I would also want to know uh, if you got that tender to dig those graves, who do you expect to bury in those graves? Especially if you get a tender to say, hey, you must, must dig 1.5 million graves in one province. Who do you expect to be burying in those graves? So yeah, I'm also with this guy. Who does the person who got the tender expect to be da to be buried in those graves? I'm not gonna be buried in those graves. Even if I was in Gauteng, I'd also be like, eh, eh, I ain't getting buried in no grave. I'm not dying from no corona. Okay, so the next tweet is saying, Dear government, I think you are now going insane. You failed to give us land, but now you have land for graves. Who's fooling who? How do you feel digging graves for people who are still alive? <laughs> yeah, no, this guy is really pissed off. He's like, government, eh? who's fooling who? Yeah, you can't give us land for us to build our own houses and to use for businesses and agriculture, but you have land to give to to dig one million graves, which is an interesting question. You don't have the land to give people land to do business and do agriculture and build houses for people, but you have land, enough land in one of the smallest provinces in South Africa. Because if I'm not mistaken, Gauteng is one of the smallest provinces here in South Africa. You have enough land to dig 1.5 million graves. That's some interesting thing. I know that yeah, the graves are probably packed together, but still, enough land to build 1.5 million graves that is very questionable on the government. How do you have that much land and you're not willing to use that land for other resources unless the government is saying that that land is not suitable for other use but being used to put graves, which would be really strange. Because I don't know that there are any specific requirements for you, does the land need to meet any specific requirements to, for you to be a grave site? Okay, so the next tweet is saying, so that uh, 350 was meant for transport fee to print our death certificates, ka home affairs. <laughs> so this one is saying that the 350 UI, uh, not UIF, the 350 
from uh, Sasa that the government was giving people, it was actually technically meant for you to, what to use as transport money to go get your death certificate at home affairs for you to be able to be, I'm guessing, buried in one of the graves that they are digging there in Gauteng, the 1.5 million graves, which is an interesting thing because, hey, what do you do? What are you going to do really with 350? Like for me personally, I ask myself, if I were to be only getting that, that Sasa grant, if I were to, I'm not even getting it at the moment, if I were to be getting that, would it be able to help supplement my lifestyle or help me in any way? I don't know because... Even if I'm saying I'm living alone by myself, 350, it's not enough to buy food. Unless you're saying you're buying very basic foods like uh, probably pap, some pap, some maybe let's say oatmeal and that and bread just for you to eat. Probably have one or two meals per day. So yeah, maybe that's what the government was planning that the 350 is transport money for you to go to get your death certificate but that's something that's some really strange thing so let's go to the next tweet so the next tweet is saying these one million graves do not apply to us who don't live in Gauteng hey yeah and then I'm thinking I feel like for the guys who live in Gauteng that one is hitting home it's like yeah oh that only applies to the people who live in Gauteng ish guys ne? <laughs> I feel for the guys who live in Gauteng they're probably panicking now hey yeah, our MEC, our MEC of Health in Gauteng is busy digging 1.5 million graves. What does he think is going to happen to us? Does he think that something is going to, there's going to be like a lot of death? I don't know what. <laughs> but this is just funny, guys. With this whole 1.5 million graves thing and people are like, hey, Gauteng, you guys take care of yourselves. You guys take care of, take care of yourselves because, hey, Maybe the government, people are, other people are saying, hey, maybe the government knows something that we don't know. That's why they're digging 1.5 million graves. But I mean, personally, I'll just say, guys, chill. Uh, this thing, sometimes these things are just blown out of proportion, really. I don't know if, because as I said earlier, uh, I read an article where they said they are not actually digging 1.5 million graves. They're just saying they have the capability to dig 1.5 million graves. So... I think this whole thing was is just been taken out of this this whole thing has just been taken out of context. So yeah, it's been taken out of context and been blown out of proportion to say that the government is digging 1.5 million graves where I don't really think it is digging 1.5 million graves because that's just something else for them to be digging that many graves in one province. 1.5 million graves in one province is just way too much. And especially at currently what our uh, mortality rate for the COVID-19 is I don't think it currently justifies that many graves. Okay, so the next tweet is saying, I'm so broke, guys. I'm selling my grave. Anyone interested, DAM is open. <laughs> so now this one is looking at this thing as like a business opportunity to say, hey, this guy, the government has dug me a free grave, like uh, as if like, you know, when you get an RDP, some people get RDPs and they're like, yeah, no, I've got my RDP now. And when I rent it out and make some money off of it. So now this guy is like, hey, same concept with the RTP. I'm going to take my grave and I'm selling it. Whoever wants my grave can have it. So what is he trying to say? Is he saying that the government is giving out grave sites like they give out RTPs? Because that's just something strange. Really strange. Okay, so the next tweet that I'm going to look at is a short one. It just says, the only piece of land you're going to get. <laughs> and then you, you see the picture there. It's just a grave. That's the only piece of land you're going to get. Eesh. Guys, it's cool, rough. Cool, rough, rough, rough. Okay, the next tweet I'm going to read is from Unpopular Opinions. That's the name of the Twitter person who's tweeted this. To think that someone out there is busy digging my grave, may you fall in it while digging it because Andy has. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is saying, hey, to think that somebody out there is busy digging my grave, I, I don't know, I don't know, but and yes, eh, you must just fall into that grave, because I ain't coming to that grave, yeah, no, guys, I, also, hey, it was also one of those how thing people be like, somebody's digging my grave, no, 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 and yes, what you were digging that grave for, but, you will see yourself, Mina. I'm not coming to that grave, Mina. I'm gonna live. Ah, this COVID nineteen. As much as anything is happening, 
I'm going to live. <laughs> okay, so the next tweet is saying that China built two hospitals in 12 days to prepare for COVID-19. South Africa is digging one million graves in one week to prepare for COVID-19. Hey! I ah, know, this one hits home, guys. Yeah. China built what? Two hospitals in 12 days. And uh, the Gauteng government is digging 1.5 million graves, according to the Twitter people. I yeah, know that, guys, that is something else. Like, I'm surprised. I'm like, why hasn't our government tried to build more hospitals? I understand that they're saying they're building field hospitals. I'm not sure. I must have a look at these field hospitals and see what type of hospitals they are. But I've had a look at the, the hospitals that China have built, those hospitals that they've built like in a week or maybe 14 days. There are some very, very impressive hotel, uh, not hotels, hospitals that they've built because they build hospitals with all electricity, running water, internet, everything that you need that a hospital needs. They built in like a space of 12 days the way that they go about constructing those hospitals piece by piece because every piece is just shipped in and then they just put it together like it's like a Lego or something. But it's just an interesting building process and the way that they are able to go about making building hospitals that quick i think it just speaks to their engineering know-how that the chinese have i think we need to start being we need, we need to start having engineers as good as china that we are able to what is it improve our structure develop our structure to a point where we don't struggle to construct things in a short span short span of time so the next tweet is saying what if God heard South Africa's prayers and those graves are for the crop leaders? <laughs> yeah, you never know, guys. Yeah, you never know. Maybe God did hear our prayers and is like, yeah, I know. I'm digging these graves for the corrupt politicians up there in power and they're going to come into those graves. Hey, but then 1.5 million graves for corrupt politicians. Are you? What are you saying? I don't think... Because are there 1.5 million politicians out there? Uh, unless you're talking about also party members, just general party members. Because hey, that's a lot of graves. Just for corrupt politicians, that would be something else. Hey, but you don't know. But, <laughs> hey, God. God probably has answered, heard our prayers. But I don't think God is that type to say, okay, I'm just going to kill all these people he's a, he's a kind god he's chilled yeah i'm just gonna say that i'm gonna leave it at that let me not mess with other things that i don't want to say here so the next tweet is saying they should have given me my grave money because i ain't dying anytime soon hey, this one is like yeah no yeah they should have just given me my grave money so we, we just need to go find out uh, the tender for this uh, 1.5 million graves, how much was the tender for it? And then divide that, I think it's what divide that money by 1.5 million and then you will get the money that it costs to dig your grave. I don't think that your grave, the digging of your specific grave is going to cost that much. So I don't see any use of you trying asking the government to give you just give you the money that it costs to dig your grave. But I think the money that they are using to dig this 1.5 million graves could have been used for better use on other things. Because again, if they did tender this out to somebody who has like excavators and people, I don't know did they actually get the best price to get this to do this excavating the digging of these graves. So the next tweet says. For all we know, ANC and corruption, the one million graves will be missing or stolen in two weeks. <laughs> oh my word, this person, this person really is going after the ANC. Yeah, so what he's saying is like, all we know, after two weeks, the one million graves will be missing or stolen. How do you, how do one million graves go missing or go, how do they become stolen? There ain't no way that one million graves can just go missing or be stolen. Otherwise, unless you're saying that the graves don't get dug at all. So the people just take the money for the graves and never dig the graves, which would be something else, really something else. Because, okay, we've already seen some pictures of some of the graves that they've dug. I don't know how many, how many graves have they dug so far. 
But maybe we find that they dig maybe 200,000 graves and then they don't dig the other 1.3 million graves. Hey, who's South Africa, the people in power, you never know what might happen. Yeah, they might be like, no, we dug the 200,000 graves, the other 1.3, eh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we might just need to have a commission of inquiry, a uh, COVID com commission of inquiry after this whole pandemic thing to know what happened to all of the money that the government uh, had and where did they spend it during this period of time. Because, hey, they've spent a lot of money and somebody's going to need to account for all the money that the government has spent. So this guy, the next tweet, this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what does he have against the Gauteng people. Okay, so the next tweet. Once they've buried all the Gauteng residents, Gold Rift City is mine. Hmm? This one, he's, <laughs> he's still thinking about going to Gold Rift City during a pandemic. Even if they buried all the Gauteng residents, meaning wouldn't that mean Gauteng is a toxic place? So... Would you really want to go to Gold Rift City when everybody's been buried in Gauteng? Wouldn't that mean that the place is the epicenter of the pandemic? So, yeah. But again, maybe I would also join him if the whole Gauteng was buried. I think I would be like, guys, i just going to live and let live. Because if, if this pandemic's going to get me, I'd rather just live my life and enjoy to the fullest until the end, because I can't just live being scared of something and like, no, I can't do anything because of the pandemic, because of COVID. So uh, I, don't, I think I'd also join him there at Gold of City, like enjoy myself, go on Anaconda, Tower of Terror, and Minus Revenge, and all of those different roller coasters. So yeah, I think I'll join him with that as well. Okay, so guys, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to make more videos like this, reacting to tweets like uh, sp specific trending uh, hashtags on Twitter like this, hashtag 1 million graves, please leave a like and a comment and please subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, this has been Fencer Petler with another video. Catch you guys later.